Okay, so I'm taking my Makeup Forever Flash palette and I'm gonna mix the coral and the white and just apply that on my brows. Next, I'm taking Goldilocks and Decora by Sugar Pill and I'm gonna mix that loose eyeshadow on an index card. As so. And then I'm gonna take my LA Splash Base Sealer, eyeshadow sealer, I forget what it's called. And I'm going, oh, there it is. And I'm gonna mix that with the eyeshadow and apply that on my brows. And this is what I came up with. I didn't film the process because while I was doing my brows, I thought, hey, let me film a tutorial. So beggars can't be choosers. So I'm taking Jupiter, that nice little pink from my BH Cosmetics Galaxy Chick palette. And then I'm gonna take my E30, I believe, blending brush and um, by Sigma and applying that all over the lid. And that doesn't really look like much, so I'm just gonna put some more and build on color. It's better to put on less than more because if you put on less, you can always add more. But if you add too much, then you can't really take that away. So less is good, more is bad. Then I am taking my pencil brush, also by Sigma, and I'm gonna take that little mixture I made for my brows and put that under my eye. Taking Lumi, also by Sugar Pill, I'm gonna put that on the inner corner of my eye and that will serve as a highlight. And it's really, really pretty. It's like moon dust, pretty. And then taking my Sugar Pill Pro palette, I'm taking the orange, which is called Flame Point, and applying that on the outer corners of my eye. And I always find that if I have too much product on the brush, I'll just place some of it on the other eyelid. So I'll bounce back and forth, making sure it's evenly spread out and there's an even amount on each lid. So blend that out. And then you'll get this nice corally combination. Then I'm going to take Butter Cupcake by Sugar Pill as well. And I'm gonna take that blending brush and pat that on my crease. And then blend that out. And then adding some more orange. I'm just gonna define that crease a little bit more so you can see the colors. Next, I'm going to be taking Dolly Pop and apply that on the outer corner of my eye and blend that in and out. And then taking the remainder product on my brush, I'm gonna apply that on the lower lash line. And kind of mimicking what I did on my lid, I'm gonna take the orange and apply that in the middle of my lash line. Now I have already done my winged eye, so um, if you wanna know how I do my winged eyeliner, I'll put a link below or a little link you can click on on the video. And um, next I'm using Wet n Wild Mega Liner in turquoise, and you can get this at Walmart or Walgreens or anywhere. And it's really cheap actually. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna apply a thin line on top of the wing I have created. Now this product is really hard to use because it's really like chunky and thick, so be careful. And if it looks a little messed up, that's okay. You're, you're gonna put glitter on top of it anyway. 
Now using Urban Decay's Liquid Glitter Liner in Amp, I'm gonna apply that on top of the line I've created on top of my wing. <laughs> And I find the padding process of applying the glitter a lot useful and you can actually place it where you want it. And here's the final product. Uh, I already put lashes on and mascara. And this is optional. I'm just lining my lips with Cherry Kiss by Revlon. And this lipstick is by Neutrogena in Rum Raisin. And there you go, the final product. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.